This song is Korea's traditional folk song, Arirang. It may be unfamiliar to the foreigners, but it is regarded as the people's anthem to Koreans. You might be wondering, why am I talking about a folk song in Sina's story? After hearing my story, you'll be able to inch a step closer to Korean cinema. Let's start right away. In Korea, Arirang is a symbolic song. From country feasts to important national ceremony, the song has been sung in various ways for an extended time. Then first, let me tell you about the meaning and origin of Arirang. Since a very long time ago, grassroots and peasants sang Arirang whenever they were exhausted or worn out by struggles. As most of all folk songs are, no one knows who created it and where it comes from. The song was passed on oral. The word Arirang is interpreted in dozens of different ways, including my beautiful one or my loved ones. However, we know that all the songs commonly have the word Arirang in their lyrics, and they are all pronounced and sung differently, depending on their origins. Local Arirangs from Gyeonggi, Jongseon, Miryang, and Jindo are the most popular and symbolic songs. The most widely known song of all is the first one we heard, Gyeonggi Arirang. It is a theme song to the movie Arirang, which is regarded as one of the monumental Korean films. How did it become this film's theme song? And who is the director? In the 1920s, Korea was called Joseon and was under the Japanese colonial rule. It was a time where many people gave their all to reclaim the country as independent activists. Maungu was one of them. And one day, after witnessing people passionately reacting to films, he thinks to himself, Think I can deliver our national spirit through films. He then decides to study cinema and make one himself. Naungu became a director, actor, and screenwriter, and a movie is released in 1926 called Arirang. It's the story of an independent activist, Young Jin. He becomes deranged after being tortured, and later kills a pro-Japanese collaborator who tried to rape his sister, and in the end, gets arrested by Japanese police. The song Arirang is the closing song of the film, which ends with Young Jin getting dragged to the station. Naungu was, and still is, considered a special director to this day. Since the 1920s was the era of silent films. All the theaters had their own film interpreters and singers who interpreted and sang while the movie was rolling. A peculiar incident happened in the final scene of the movie where Arirang started playing. The viewers started crying and sang the song together in tears. Then why did people cry when they watched Arirang? An indescribable emotion of sorrow and anger was deeply inscribed into the heart of people who have just lost their country. We call this emotion Han. And the film Arirang was the one raising Han of the people. 
Youngjin's painful situation and the sorrowful melody of Arirang have touched the sentiment of Han lying deeply in the people. Most of the movies screened at the time were adapted films. So Arirang, which realistically illustrated the people's Han, no way to not appeal. The film Arirang, like a bushfire, its popularity was expanded rapidly across the nation. Arirang was even regarded as what gave Joseon people the first opportunity to experience a medium called film. Besides its commercial success, the film Arirang was an action flick, which was the most preferred genre at the time, with scoops of tragic elements based on a plot that takes center in the Joseon dynasty under the Japanese colonial rule. It was perceived to have touched the people's sentiment and is still seen as an emblematic work in the history of Korean cinema. It highlights that film definitely is the mirror of an era and has the power to move the people.